Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Heyman, and for almost 14 years I have performed with, and for almost 14 years I have worked behind the scenes with, Brock Lesnar. For about 14 years, most people have heard me speak for him. That's our gig. But this is a totally different realm for Brock Lesnar. This is a return to UFC during their biggest show in history, UFC 200, Saturday, July 9th, from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. So the big question, obviously, first is why? 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 I guess because I want to, that's why. And that's the only reason anybody should do anything, right? Because you want to. I know you and I have been friends for a long time. We've been business associates, and um, you've known me for a long time. You helped jumpstart my career. Now here we are, how many years later? Let's not age ourselves. But why is, uh, I'm sure I'm gonna get asked a lot of questions, and that's gonna be the main one, but why is because I want to, that's why. When I left, the UFC, I didn't get to leave on my terms. And not, I'm not saying I'm coming back to, to end something that I didn't get to finish on my terms. I want to be inside the octagon again, and I want to be inside the octagon healthy. I want to be inside the octagon under my terms. When I was inside the octagon my last few fights, I believe I wasn't uh, the the man that I needed to be. I was faking it. I was faking it to just to be in there. I was faking it that a disease was more powerful than me. I, I, was, I was faking that I was more powerful than it. I want to go back into that octagon. I want to have fun. The, last, the lasting memories of me as, a, as an ultimate fighter aren't very good ones because of uh, the discomfort, the discomfort and, and the pain and, and uh, just the unhealthiness of, of, of it. And I felt I needed to be in the octagon to prove, to beat this disease. And I ended up getting beat by foes that in my, uh, in my mindset I should have never lost to. I lost to diverticulitis, I lost to, I'm man enough to sit here and say I, I lost to Cain Velasquez, I lost to Alistair Overeem. Um, but the, uh, the loss is I'm not here to avenge any loss other than to avenge the loss that, that I took uh, against diverticulitis. God, you just, I just want it. I just want it, Paul. You know, when, when we wrote your book, we went into great detail about how sick you were, that you almost died at your brother's house in Canada. But here's something that has never been revealed. You were sick way before you even got into the octagon. So this is really the first time the world has ever seen a healthy Brock Lesnar truly compete. All I know is, is that life is all about timing and the timing for me on this just feels right. I feel great. And I'm just, I'm ready to do this. I'm just ready to do it. I've been ready for a while and I'm just glad for the opportunity. You gonna do a training camp? Absolutely, am I going to do it? I'm going to do a training camp. No, but I mean, I mean on, on your own, or are you going to join a, an, 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 another squad? Like, no, know? we're we're going to do this the the old fashioned way, just like we did it before. I'm I'm hiring uh, coaches. I'm hiring uh, training partners, and we're uh, we're 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 getting geared up already. I mean, it's it's already put together. I got lots of help. I got lots of lots of people that uh, are excited about this. None of them are more excited than me, and they they feel that they see it, they hear it, you know. And so it's exciting. It's very exciting for me. Marty Morgan again is your lead coach. Marty Morgan, yeah. We, we the list goes on. When there's guys that want to be a part of this, and they want to be a part of it, not just because they want to be part of it. They want to be part of it because genuinely, genuinely they. They're good people, and they want to help. And that's those are the kind of guys that I want in my corner. And like like previous years, they were all there for me, 
and uh, they'll be in my corner again. How do you approach stepping into a legitimate athletic competition, a fight, differently at 38 than you would in your early 30s? I, I don't feel any older. I don't, I, don't, I don't sit here and take myself back in the time and wonder how I felt back then. I just, I go, I go with what I, how I feel right now and I feel, I feel really good. And uh, that's all I can really gauge. That's all I can go by. Why would I want to go back and compare myself? I'm, I think I've got a statement to make and I'm going to come into this, I'm approaching this 100%. You know, I'm all in. I'm a thousand, per, a thousand percent in on this. So it, it, I've got lots of support, my family, my friends, you know. It wasn't a hard decision. It wasn't. Dana White didn't call me up for this. I, I made the phone call. So uh, this is, you know, you, you can't get into the octagon half-assedly, uh, nor would I make the call if I wanted to half-assedly get in the octagon, because I'm smart enough. I know how dangerous it is. It's a dangerous sport. I wouldn't put my health at risk for my family uh, by no means. My head is in the game on this. I'm 100% I'm all in. All in. No doubts in my mind. No doubt at all.